guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Kya mona chhoto mona shabai. How you guys all doing? So today I'm gonna be talking about sunscreen. So why sunscreen is important? You know, sun. We know sun is everything to us, but sun emits some harmful rays. I mean, three types of rays: UVA, UVB, and UVC. You know, UVC mostly reflected by our ozone layer, thankfully, and UVA and UVB they are the most harmful rays for us. You know, uh, UVA rays goes deep into our skin and causing premature aging, some sunspot. You know, we can't immediately see the effects, but we know over the period of time we can show. I mean, it can show the result on our skin. The harmful rays and UVB rays are causing sunburn, sun tan, uh, dull skin, anything like this. So, sunscreen. I mean, SPF is BFF. Never forget that, girls and boys. And sunscreen is unisexual. So, if someone is using sunscreen and we are going to say, oh, you are you are doing a lot of makeup. Or... No, it, it's a you know. It's a medicine for us, you know. It's a protective layer for us. We need sunscreen on our skin. And if someone says to you that, "Hey, what are you doing?" You know, blah blah blah. We don't need sunscreen. Then tag them. My video. So I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of sunscreen. Like I want to throw over. Okay, I didn't count. So I have too many sunscreens. So first, I'm gonna start with 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 with. Okay, this one. This is a physical sunscreen. Oh, uh, let let me tell you something else. There are two types of sunscreens. I mean, two filter of sunscreen. One is chemical filter, and second is physical filter. So initially, we used to believe that you know the physical filter they reflect the UV rays, and chemical filter they kind of ex I mean absorb the UV rays and then turn it into heat. But no, it's not true. I mean, both they act like similarly. It's not like the chemical filter are bad, and physical filters are great. No, they are all great. You know, you need to choose which one is working for your skin. I mean, for me, I'm kind of uh, I have kind of oily skin, and you know, kind of combination skin. Uh, in summer, it gets more on a oilier side, and uh, in winter, it gets more kind of drier side. But um, I have you know pretty much combination skin. I'm happy with my skin. Okay, let me tell you something. This is a physical sunscreen, so it has 25% micronized zinc oxide. This is SPF 50 plus and PF triple plus. Okay, and it has. You know, you can see the ingredient list here. Okay, I uh, I will you know insert this here. I think here. Huh? So let me tell you something first. As an oily uh, oily skin girl, you know this is. Very hard, very hard to you know use on my skin. Though it is said that this is matte sunscreen gel, but to me, I mean, it is it is so much oily and so much sticky. I mean, I can't blend it properly. It takes too much time. And let me tell you something. After I after I, I apply this, this is kind of get more more oilier. Okay. Though I used it a lot, but though I used it a lot, yet I don't like this. Okay. I hope. See, I mean, you, and it's still here, and it kind kind of get you know uh, some bluish in color, and then it makes my skin dull. And you know, we need to use three finger sunscreen. Three finger one. I mean, one, two, three. Three finger of sunscreen we need to apply on our face, neck, and ear. If you skip, I mean, don't skip your, you know, your ears need protection too. But if I use that much of sunscreen, uh, I kind of look like a ghost. I mean, yeah. If I mean, if your skin is super, super dry, I mean, like desert dry, then I think this will be work. This, I mean, uh, you will love this. But you know, for me, I'm not gonna repurchase again. I'm gonna use it somehow. In winter only. Oh, by the way, it's water resistant. I mean, it's really water resistant. I mean, really. If you're gonna, you know, if you are, uh, I mean, is it a rainy? Then you then you apply it on your skin, and then you go outside on the rain. Then it will leave horrible white cast, like horrible white cast on, on all over your face. I mean, it doesn't come off. I mean, you definitely need to double cleanse to, you know. It's still here. Can you see this? I don't like this. I don't like it. Okay. So next, my next favorite guy. 
give this here. This is minimalist high performance science, minimalist multi vita multi vita I got tongue twisted. This is multivitamin SPF 50 broad ex, broad spectrum PA 4 plus sunscreen. You know, I mean minimalist nailed this, nailed it. I mean, this is this is my my most favorite sunscreen. Initially, uh, you know, I I got some peeling with this peeling issue with this sunscreen, but as soon as I apply a uh, gel based moisturizer, then it's fine. I I never, I mean. I never gave any peeling after that okay so I think it's a chemical sunscreen yeah here's the ingredient list uh, why can't it focus okay let me tell you something with the minimalist products there is a six months you know I don't think uh, it's here but uh, when you use any minimalist product you know it can be uh, safe for two years I mean use but as soon as you open it you have to finish it within six months yeah and this is my most favorite sunscreen I mean this is kind of shit and this is kind of love okay and then I have uh, the blazing tree sunscreen you know I've, I've, I've this is finished there's nothing in this and this is you know uh, there still have some sunscreen left let me show you the texture first okay this is the texture Th this is like a cream it's not like a sunscreen so it's very easy to work with this you know see it's kind of dissolving with my screen Yee. see it's not here so it is kind of um, you know hybrid sun oh there are hybrid sunscreen also and this is kind of hybrid sunscreen I mean it has titanium dioxide zinc oxide and um, cetera I will mention it here I mean the, the names are too you know hard to utter I think okay so uh, it, it this is SP 50 PS triple plus you know this sunscreen is so good you know uh, we need to apply sunscreen even we are indoors so I mostly use this sunscreen when I'm indoors and I use this when I'm outdoors so yeah uh, this, this is a very good sunscreen you know you you can try this even if if you have dry skin or oily skin um, in summer winter rainy season you know you can use it all over the year this is so good and oh let me tell you something this is certified sunscreen but I don't think this two are sun uh, certified sunscreen oh, what's wrong with me today okay this is certified sunscreen but these two I don't think so they are certified sunscreen and then I have lacked you know you can see I have used them quite a lot I mean uh, you can you know say that I'm not buying this and then one after one or two days later I'm reading this no I've been continuously using them for one or two years so you know you can tell me a sunscreen queen thank you so much okay so then we have lactocalamine daily sunshield matte look sunscreen with kaolin clay sp 50 ph triple plus and this is a broad spectrum sunscreen okay let me tell you something it says that it's for oily skin but no it's not for oily skin as soon as i apply this you know it kind of make my my skin so sticky and after you know 30 or 40 minutes later my skin gets more oilier than than usual it has oh it's a chem, it's some chemical sunscreen so okay I, I i but it has titanium dioxide so it's kind of chemical and uh, hybrid i mean somewhere somewhere between them okay this is good i mean it has some pink you know it's pink in color it blends easily but you know for my oily skin people I don't recommend this you know you can use this or this but yeah I know it's a certified sunscreen and it's good but yeah and it blends so easily but it's it's so much you know it makes my skin dull I don't know why it makes my skin dull and um, none of them I mean before none of them they make make my skin dull but this is this does 
okay so next next one the traditional one. yeah uh, next i have this lakme sans sun, okay let me show you next i have lakme sun expert blocks up to 97% uv b rays not uv a rays uv b rays spf 50 ph triple plus it, it is kind of tinted sunscreen and it's kind of hybrid sunscreen because it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide if i'm not wrong yeah it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so it's a hybrid sunscreen so see i don't use foundation on my skin or uh, bb cream or cc cream on daily basis so i like kind of you know on Haley uh, i think uh, i watch a video of Haley weaver you know uh, was was it walk i don't know so she says that she li she likes to use you know tinted sunscreen on her skin for a daily basis uh, i mean over a regular sunscreen so that's why I, then we don't have much option on india so in india so i bought this lacme sun expert tinted sunscreen and let me show, uh, tell you something it's an universal thing and it, it goes well with my skin too but you know what it's kind it's very thick you know I mean it's very hard to blend if I take three finger rule sunscreen then it's very I mean it just sits top on my skin and it doesn't go away and I kind of rub it for too long but yeah it does give me a little bit coverage and it looks kind of fresh my skin looks kind of fresh but it's so hard to blend so hard to blend. and um, I don't believe I mean it's a proper sunscreen or not I mean it should I mean the company says that you need to apply 20 minutes before uh, going to sun and reapply every three to four hours it's a good claim see oh it dissolves no no it doesn't dissolve i mean i it, it's all here if you can see and if you can't see my camera is bad okay so yeah this is uh, kind of good uh, what, what what i do with this that i take three finger rule i apply on my face and neck and then i kind of wait for at least 10 minutes to uh, to kind of uh, to kind of, I mean to let it settle on my skin and then I gently rub it and then I'm good to go. But you know uh, I'm paying. Oh, what's the price? Mm, I'm paying five twenty for a sunscreen and if I get this, I mean such a hard time to blending it, to blend it, then why should I buy this? You know. I'm so I'm not gonna repurchase it again and if you like this then let me know in the comments below oh by the way they have a normal version also but you know I bought the tinted sunscreen okay so I think I'm not gonna repurchase it again I may repurchase it the smaller 50 gram size you know for if I'm if I'm going if, uh, somewhere in the evening you know market then I may use this oh by the way I always use sunscreen even I go to uh, you know a wedding or I go to a market at night obviously I always use sunscreen so, uh, I, oh let me show you this this is LACMA sun expert SPF 24 PA double plus so this is my childhood sunscreen when I was in class I mean seven or eight then I used to use this sunscreen a lot and uh, I don't know the SPF factor or I, I just, you know, go to our local shop and say that I have a sunscreen din, I mean, I said him that give me a sunscreen which is suitable for me. Then uh, this, that bhaiya, I mean, dada gave me this. So yeah, it's kind of good, you know, the texture is, okay, I can't it. Okay, so it's kind of lotion sunscreen. It's kind of lotion. And the smell is very nostalgic it reminds me of my childhood when we are on a, okay I'll say it some other day so it's very good but you know I don't recommend it using it I mean you use it and go to the sun no uh, I mean definitely not it has pH 2 plus uh, you know I suggest you to use pH triple plus or at I mean at least 3 plus or 4 plus but it's only pH 2 plus so you may use it on your body but not on your skin and it's it, it, it's SPF 24 I always recommend to you know use at least SPF 50 at least SPF 50 on, on your skin but if you are using this on your body then you are good to go oh by the way I use this on my body you know because you know my skin is kind kinda I don't know I, I get burnt so easily so easily I mean if I'm you know uh, 
facing the sun for 10 minutes or 15 minutes I get burned I mean not tan but burn I mean I don't know what which material will I okay and then I have these two sunscreen and they are my least favorite least even I hate I hate this more than this even more than more than this I just do not like this you know somehow I, I and you know I use this on my body and this too if, if you can see it has nothing in it it is nothing in it I use I mean it's so horrible I think I, I have left something yeah I mean it's so horrible it gives me a white cast and it doesn't go away if I use three finger and if I use least amount then I'm good to go but why should I use least amount you know I use at least three finger rule see I mean I think you can't see but it it gives a horrible white cast and it doesn't go away and I don't like no I like the fragrance though but you know it says it matte finish matte finish. yeah it's matte finish but you know and it oh it's it stinks my eyes a lot this stinks my eyes this stinks my eyes this stinks my eyes and um, no this doesn't and this no this doesn't and this they all stink my eyes horribly but the minimal sunscreen it doesn't sting my eye okay and this stinks my eyes horribly it ha you know when I see the the SPF filter, I didn't find much. You know they say carrot seed oil, and okay, uh, avocado oil, raspberry extract. I mean, are they chemical filters really? I mean, sunscreen filter or anything? They does anything? You know, uh, coconut ha coconut oil has SPF eight, I think. So this doesn't mean we use coconut oil on our face and go to the sun and say hi there I've used SPF. No, they doesn't work really well. Okay, so I'm never gonna buy this again. Never ever in my life. Never ever ever ever. Okay, so what I am left with. Okay, then this is I mean this is my sunscreen which I used in my college days. This is Osea Herbals. UV shield mattifying sunblock, 5 in 1 solution, SPF 40 and it doesn't say how much PA has in it, it just say broad spectrum and nothing, I mean in the back it says UVB and UVA, if you can see, can you see, can you see, can't it focus, okay, so you know uh, when I was in college, oh by the way I passed out college this year, so when I was in college, I, I just I just have no idea how sunscreen works. I just kind of use sunscreen on my face. I have no idea that uh, what PA rating says was what it's it's mm, what SPF rating is. Oh, by the way, SPF meaning meaning uh, sun protecting factor. So it's kind of you know determine the UVB rays. I mean how much we get protection from UVB rays. Uh, and the PA rating means. You know UV rays. I mean, how much we gonna get protected from UV rays? Okay, so it doesn't say anything. And you know what? When I was in school, my school is you know kind of uh, near to my house. So you know I, I didn't face sun much when I was in school. So I never get burned in my school days. But, but when I was in college, when I go to college, so college is you know it's kind of far away. So I have to go there. And then I I didn't understand why. I, I get so much burned, you know, I and so much tanned, you know, my under eyes here, they became red, I mean horribly red, like uh, uh, I was, sorry, like I was working in a mine or something, but uh, and now I understand why it was like this, because I used this and I didn't use three finger rule, I used just pea size amount and that's why I get this kind of, you know, burn. From, uh, on my face oh and then at last it's not like a sunscreen I don't believe it as a sunscreen so it's Kea Shed Aromatherapy Umbrella 50 all in SPF 50 UVB PH Triple Plus sunscreen and I didn't find decent amount of UV filters in this but yeah I, I doesn't use this as a I doesn't I don't use this as a uh, you know sunscreen I mostly use this, use this as a, you know uh, loose powder because it's you know let me show you because it it's like 
it's had it has yellow undertone and and i have yellow undertone see so i use this to brighten my under eye area i mean i don't use uh, you know this powder all over my face i mean halka uh, halka uh, idhar uh, and here and i'm good to go i don't see this as a sunscreen powder you know use that lakme compact that sunscreen compact i think this is good but i don't use this as a sunscreen i use mostly use this as a loose powder and it's a, a brilliant loose powder i mean it does control oil it uh, what does it, um, i'll provide the link in the description box uh, everything so you can see it you know closely and then lastly oh by the way i found this you know in my last video i said that i lost it i broke this and then i found it so i'm happy okay so uh, lastly we have this himalaya sorry i broke this himalaya sun protect orange lip care it is, it has spf 30 and pre triple plus and you know it, it mostly out of stock from everywhere and you know it has uh, okay or oh, nothing written on here so you know it's good i mean i said i said it on a previous video also that it has citrusy lemony fragrance i i i like this i like this stuff and it's mostly um, it's mostly out of stock from everywhere so um, i'll i'll try to provide a link um, amazon link in the description so you may buy this you know okay so with this i finished my sunscreen recommendation oh, let me hold this if i can show this here okay 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 and this is last okay so this is my sunscreen oh i i have something else i just forget this i have this you know i think this was called loves lufz it's loves sunscreen and it, it, you know it has some amazing uh, it has some amazing consistency like the biore sunscreen i mean it was like a jelly when you apply it it kind of you know it, it becomes transparent and it has alcohol Uh, but it has such a high fragrance so uh, i gave it to my uncle and he enjoys it he says that it has some you know shaving after shaving lotion uh, smell and he likes it he says it's so refreshing so i said to him that okay uncle enjoy this because i don't like this okay so with this oh my god it's so long i i don't think you are going to watch till the end but you know watch till the end because I I gave so much information in this video. So like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe because you know I'm new and I I mostly do, don't know how to, you know, shoot a video like a professional. I'm on my own and if you see behind the scenes, you will get like, "Oh, what's this mess?" I mean, only this area is clean and the other parts are like hot. If you say like Okay, so subscribe to my channel and if you have any query then uh, comment me down in the in the in the in the comment sex, section what's wrong in the comment section and uh, give me love because i'm really new in this and with this i'm saying bye bye have a happy day or uh, okay bye bye